Hey, what's up, people, man? Today I'm talking about this topic is overrated. Is he? I think he's not overrated, but then I think he's a elite quarterback. He's a great quarterback. I think he won the greatest quarterback ever. I'm not the greatest quarterback yet. So he won that first Super Bowl. Dude, he don't got to win the first Super Bowl. So he won one of the greatest quarterback ever. Yes. He, I enjoy Tom Brady. Yes. He, he's a legend. He's a legendary quarterback. He's an elite quarterback, but but when he comes to playoffs, he's kind of overrated. When it comes to playoffs, he doesn't play that great in the playoffs because he do 16 insoles in the playoffs and 21 touchdowns. That's it. It's not all that great a stat because he do 16 insoles and 21 touchdowns. And his quarterback rating is like 80 something, <coughs> 84 or 80 cent, something like that. He's 84 in his quarterback rating. I think went up when he did win that Broncos game. And he, he, I think he's 6-5 and five in the playoff. He lost five playoff games. He won six. No, he won, I, think, I think he won more than six playoff games. I think he, yeah, 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 yeah. He won 10, no, he lost his last, his last, his last 11 games in the playoffs. His last 11 games in the playoffs, he is 6-5. and five. And his first 10 playoff games, he's 10-0. That's pretty good for his first ten playoff game, but last eleven he been six and five. He been going, he been doing that great. So he been playing. Let me tell you, Tom Brady, he didn't be playing that good in the playoffs. He had a good game. His best game was against the Broncos. So he didn't, he didn't, he didn't really play. Most of the time Brady like scored like two touchdowns in the playoffs all the times. His defense wanted to help him out to carry him, and then the field goal guy that wouldn't win the game for him. Basically, Tom Brady. Is what, what carried Tom Brady mostly in the playoffs was his defense and his kicker. That happened to a lot of quarterbacks, but you know Tom Brady. It happened to Tom Brady mostly often, mostly a lot. The Tom Brady, no Joe Montana and the other quarterbacks. They team already carried him all the time, but mostly they played in the playoffs. They be when they went something like Joe Montana won all four Super Bowls. It was Joe Montana the reason why they won the Super Bowls. Joe Montana had a lot of passing yards. He had a lot of yards in the games. They're like they won by field goals. John Taylor won by touchdowns and stuff. But Tom Brady, most of all, all his Super Bowl wins was by field goal wins. All the one by field goals at the end. There's nothing wrong with that. But then Giga by wasn't took of Tom Brady that won a Super Bowl. His kicker and his defense carried him in the Super Bowl and stuff. Yes, Tom Brady had three rings. He deserved him three rings. Yes, he deserved him if he won them games. He played good in the game, but he didn't play like he's. He didn't even play great. He played average. He played average in the playoffs. He didn't play that great in the playoffs, but he played average in the playoffs. But when Tom Brady go against a great defense like Baltimore, you see, the last of them two playoff games he played Baltimore in the playoffs, he played horrible. When Tom Brady plays a, a great team like Baltimore, or a great defense in great defense around like Giants, Tom Brady's not good. Tom Brady's not good at all. You see it. You saw in the Super Bowl, we played in 2007, we played against Giants. The secondary, the Giants defense at the end was great. And Tom, they kept getting Tom Brady so much pressure, he couldn't do nothing. They kept hurting Tom Brady. Because when you hurt Tom Brady, Tom Brady really can't do nothing. He, you know what I mean? When you, when you hurt Tom Brady, he just stopped playing stupid and started doing into and started doing ball fast and started doing the un unaccurate passes. Because that's how Tom Brady is. He hates to get hit. So he can throw the ball real fast, so he won't get hit anymore. So just like the Baltimore game, the last, the last game in the Baltimore game, he can start doing unaccurate passes at the end. He do that pass, and um, Reeves him to pick it all. He could have ran it back. Yeah, but he just it, Reeves dropped it, smacked it, and dropped it. But yeah, and Reeves dropped it. So yeah, and we went until he do he just do the ball in the air because I think he just do the ball in. He tried to hurry score a touchdown. But then again, I think he just do the ball real quick in the air so it's deep because he didn't want to get hit. When Tom Brady hit by Ray Lewis, Tom Brady just saw playing different. He just saw doing accurate passes on into. Because Tom Brady doesn't play really great when he comes play against a great defense like Baltimore or a great defense line like the Giants. He doesn't. That's why I think Tom Brady, that's why I think the Giants going to beat the their own Packers Patriots because Tom Brady cannot get that pressure. If Tom Brady doesn't get time, they're going to lose. Tom Brady just, if Tom Brady don't get time, you pressure Tom Brady. You hurt him. You can beat Tom Brady. You know? Because 
we'll see that on three Super Bowl wins. I don't play almost half of playoff win was was because of Tom Brady because of the the, the Patriots defense and the kicker was carry Tom Brady. Yes, Tom Brady's a great quarterback. Yes, he's an elite quarterback. I enjoyed Tom Brady. Like I said he he deserved the Hall of Fame. He deserved every Super Bowl. What I'm trying to say when he get when he played against a a good defense or a good defensive line, he's overrated. He's, he doesn't really play good when he plays a good defense, a great defense like Baltimore, or just any great defense or a great defensive line. Tom Brady cannot win. He always have a hard time playing. When you blitz Tom Brady, give him so much pressure and hurt him, you know, give him a chance to get his get the ball off and give him a chance to get his pass to his guard series. Tom Brady really, I don't know, man. He, does, he just sit in the pocket all day, so Tom Brady can't really get, get, get out of trouble. You blitz Tom Brady with a whole bunch of guys. I mean, not the the linebackers, but blitz Tom Brady with the defensive end. The four to four defensive ends get in. Any two defensive ends get in. Like like two defensive like, ends, two defensive ends blitzing in, blitzing Tom Brady. Tom Brady, he doesn't get out. He stay, he stay in the pocket. to stay in the pocket. He doesn't get out of trouble like Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees or a Rumble or the other quarterbacks do. And Michael Vick, they get out of trouble. They throw the ball. They throw the ball to the guy. Tom Brady can't do that. Tom Brady, when Tom Brady get pressure on him, he just cannot. He, when he get pressure, he just throw the ball real quick and do it. And sometimes he get the pass to the guy. The guy go open, but the guy not open. He do the pass to the high. I get tired of how Tom Tom, Tom Brady do intos because he try to throw the ball off. You see the blitz coming in, so the guy get out the way and look around, see who's open. He just sit in the pocket, the door real quick, and all you need to do is play soft zone, Tom Brady. Then you can pick it off a lot. Because Tom Brady is a great quarterback in Jordan, but he always have a just when he played in the playoff, he kind of overrated. And when he played, when he played against a a, a good defense in, in a good de- defensive front and a good great defense, he just doesn't play good at all. He just don't uh, do accurate passes, don't end so. It's going to really be terrible when he plays against great defense, a great defense in the front. It's just terrible. I I enjoy Tom Brady. I didn't love Tom Brady. I love Tom Brady, man. He's a great quarterback, like I said. He's a elite quarterback. I know I peaked my throat over, but like I said, he kind of overrated when it comes to playoffs game and it comes to great defense, when it comes to great defense in front. Tom Brady doesn't play well at all. Yeah, Tom Brady, he could win the Super Bowl, but I don't know. It's just, the, the Giants defense in front is too good for Tom Brady, man. I don't know, man. You watched the last Super Bowl, he just, they kept blitzing Tom Brady all. He couldn't do nothing. And he had, and he had Randy Moss when he got 14 points. Last time they played this for a whole bunch of points. I just don't know, man. Y'all tell me, man. Y'all tell me what's going to happen. I do not know, man. Man, I mean, tell me y'all, if y'all think Tom Brady's overrated. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me y'all, y'all question comments and tell me y'all think it's Tom Brady overrated. I don't think he's overrated, fully overrated, but I think he's overrated when he played in the playoffs and he played against a great defense, a great defense in the front. He's overrated. So, because he had a hard time when he played against them. Yeah, man, but, yeah, man, I was just saying, if Tom Brady learn how to get doing the pressure and look around, learn how to doing the pressure better, and learn how to stop being so soft when you get hit, and just can't take a hit, he do the ball real quick. After he's doing the ball real quick, he's doing because he not want to get hit anymore. You know what I mean? Anyway, Eli, that's why I say Eli Manny is not soft. Eli Manny is tougher than Tom Brady. That's why Eli, 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 Eli Manny is better than Tom Brady. He's tougher. Tom Brady. When he get hit, he still do the ball good. He don't care. He's not scared. He's still not scared to get hit. But anyway, if you peace out, have a nice day. Bye.